We saw some storms in our area earlier this evening. Meteorologist Vanessa Murdoch has been monitoring them all day for us. She joins us now with another look at our first alert forecast. Vanessa. Yeah, well, the good news is they are gone and out of here. Certainly, they did leave some cleanup necessary behind, but things are going to be much calmer for your Sunday and much more pleasant if you are not a fan of humidity. Let's go ahead and bring you live outside. This live picture is stunning tonight. Skies are clear. It is turning pleasant, folks. 75 five degrees at this moment in time. Tomorrow, well, you're going to notice that the temperatures have dropped, that the humidity has dropped. It is going to be a beautiful Sunday. We're looking at a few showers on Monday, but I still think overall Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look phenomenal. The temperature trend, folks, it was not the first heat wave of 2023. We fell one degree shy. It was 92 Thursday, 92 yesterday. Today, we would have needed at least 90 degrees to make it a heat wave officially. Instead, we tapped out at 89. Tomorrow, 83 degrees. I know temperature-wise, it's not a huge drop-off, but with the drop in humidity as well, it should feel much cooler out there. Monday, still seasonable at 84. And as for that humidity level drop, the dew point maxed out at 72 today. It is already falling, and tomorrow it will be below the 60-degree mark, which puts us in the comfortable realm. Temperatures right now, we're from the mid-60s to the mid-70s. It is 75 in Babylon, brick as well, 69 in White Plains, 66 in Poughkeepsie, and those dew points are already falling down to 61 in Poughkeepsie, 65 in the city. Still sticky on the east end, but don't worry, that drier air gets to you as well. As we look at what's happening overhead, those storms raced across the region earlier, courtesy of a cold front, and now skies are clearing, and that drier air is making its move in. As far as rainfall from that fast-moving line, it wasn't overly impressive. Really, the winds were the biggest problem with that line of storms, but still nearly a half an inch picked up in Sussex and ice up just over a tenth of an inch. Montauk, though, picked up much more, uh, just over eight tenths of an inch there today. As we look at the future cast model, you'll notice that it is much more settled over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, especially beautiful and calm. As we make our way into Monday, we do have the chance for a few showers, but because the air is significantly drier, a lot of this spotty shower activity won't be overly impressive, but nonetheless, we could still see a little bit of wet weather on Monday. Tonight, with dropping dew points, dropping humidity levels, that means temperatures can drop a lot lower than they have as of late. We will bottom out at 67 in Freehold and in the Hamptons, 61 in Woodbury, and how about 57 overnight in Monticello. A very crisp start to your day. As you make our way through your Sunday, it's 70 to start with sunshine. By midday, we're up to 79, looking picture perfect. And we top out at 83 in the city. In fact, many locales in the low and mid 80s tomorrow, but a little bit cooler up north. A high of just 75 in Monticello. A moderate risk of rip currents at our beaches tomorrow. And if you're going to go to the Beyonce concert tomorrow night, beautiful evening for that. Monday, 84 with some showers. Tuesday, Wednesday, looking phenomenal. Humidity levels do begin to climb as we move through the end of the work week, as does the chance for storms return. Look at Tuesday and Wednesday. I know. It's really just a spectacular stretch for nice. the next several days. Nice little break. I think we've earned it. Yes, right? we have. Thank you, Vanessa. Mm -hmm.